Hello, my name is Victor Christensen and I'm the director of SecPoint.com. Today I want to show you how to crack a VPA2 network using the portable penetrator. So I'm here in the start wireless audit step 1 of 4 and I click the begin wireless audit. Now it is scanning for all Wi-Fi networks in the area and I'm using a very strong 8 dBi wireless antenna for maximum range. We can see here it will refresh every 15 seconds until I stop the scanning process and this allows you to walk around inside a building or outside with a portable penetrator and then it will update the networks wherever you go. Now the output is being generated and we can see the list here, it has all the information. It has the MAC address of the target network, how many users are connected, the type of encryption used, the signal power, the channel information and the network name SSID. Now I will scroll down in the list and click on stop scan and select network. For legal reasons of course you are only allowed to attack your own wireless network or your customers network if you have gotten the permission to do a pen test. In this test here I have my own router called VPA router. It's running on channel 1 and it has one user connected. So I simply click on the MAC address, then I go down here and I choose the dictionary for the attack. I can choose the all languages that is almost 20 million words or I can choose the big word file that is close to 130 million words. In this case here I will choose the Danish dictionary that is close to 600,000 words and I click the OK button. And now what will happen is the sniffer starts running and I will click on that and then the portable penetrator will perform a small denial of service attack to the connected client. The connected client to the access point can be a Windows computer, a Mac computer, an iPhone or an Android phone or some kind of other device. When the portable penetrator performs the small denial of service attack this will make the client device think there is a connectivity problem and then to make the best service it will automatically reconnect. The portable penetrator will then sniff this and doing this it will capture the VPA handshake. To capture the VPA handshake this can take anywhere from a minute to a few minutes or to 10 minutes depending on how fast the client will reconnect and how close you are to the target network. We can now see the VPA handshake has been captured and the password cracker has started. I will now click on the running and here we can see it is running with 259 keys per second it is testing for. This portable penetrator I am using here is the PP3000 netbook edition. This is a very affordable solution. The larger models for example the PP6000 comes with the latest dual core technology and can allow up to 1400 cracks per second. It can also use the graphics card GPU and do up to 8000 cracks per second. Now we can see the cracking process has finished. It took 6 minutes and 5 seconds in this case and it tested 94,000 words. We can see here the average key speed was 270 cracks per second and the password was in this case Copenhagen. I now click on back and I click on back and now we can see here on the list of wireless audits that it says Copenhagen here. We can also see I have done some VP tests and to see the VP cracking process please see the videos. Thank you for watching this presentation and for more information please visit secpoint.com. Thank you.